All right, guys, so uh, first revision sheet. We're going to do this question here. The uh, bathroom door sign is shown here. This is on page 31. Question 4. A bathroom door sign is shown here. The figures on the sign contain parallel lines. Draw the sign to the given dimensions. Okay, so we can see here um, I'll be working off these dimensions, so you should have this open beside you when you're doing it. So we'd start anyway, as we normally do, trying to draw uh, some sort of a, a rectangle that it all fits into. So you can see the height is 210, the width is 280. So <coughs> I'm going to uh, make sure I can fit that in. So if I come down, uh, if I come down, the height is 210. If I come down to, if I come down 220. Uh, 220 and draw two weight coming across like that. Okay. And I'll come in, so I fit 280 in there, so I'll come in uh, here if I come in 30 from one side and I'll start it from there, right? So I'll come in 30 <coughs> and I'm going to mark off my 280. So I have 280 on mine. If you don't, just do 10 and 18 or whatever you need to, to get the, the 280 millimeters across. So here's my 280. I'm going to draw that vertical line up. This is all in 2 h lads, so should barely be able to see it in your page. Remember, you can see it in mine because you know, I have to, have to show you here in the visualizer. So I'm up to 10. There we go. Big question now. I have to extend that. I'm going to have to extend that. And I'm going to draw that in H because that rectangle around the whole thing is staying. Mm. I'll just make sure that the line was seen. Okay. All right, so that's the rectangle the whole lot is going into. Start putting some measurements along it. So I've got. Uh, 20 around the bottom, 20, 35, actually come on, I'll come up to 20, that they're 10 meter. so I'll come up 20 along the left hand side and I'll put the measurements along that line, because it all starts up over there, so I'm going to put the measurements on that, so on that line we've got uh, 20, 35, I'm adding together. Uh, you can just go to back to zero and mark off 35 if you like. 20, 35, 4 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, okay, then I have 35, so I'll go back to zero. So I've got 30, 35, this one is 30, next one is 10, next one is 20, four tens in a row again, 10, 10, 10, 10, I've got 20, so 10, then it's 20, uh, 10, there. Now for the more marking, I should have 20 left, which I do. Alright, so that's them ones there. Then up along the side, I have the 20 done already. And uh, what else do I need? I need 4 to 10. So I've got the 20 already. I've got up 20, and then from there I've got... So up 20, I've got 40... Um, Ten, so fifty, sixty-five to sixty-five, so then fifteen, sixty-five plus ten, plus twenty-five, plus twenty. There we go. And I should have twenty left on the top, and I do. All right. So there's my measurements on the side. Okay, so I've 
the vast majority of measurements in there now. I've got the rectangle that the thing is going into, so I can start um, figuring out what I need to draw. Right. Um, so I'll start, maybe, I'll start on, I think the handiest thing is to start on this side with the, with the man. So, uh, because we don't have any inclined lines there. So, this 10, this distance of 10 here, maybe I'll just start drawing them across. Okay, so, draw that across. Sorry. So, we'll draw that 10, these lines across. Uh, draw this from across. Uh, so I've got 40, 10, 65, 10, uh, I'll draw the 25, should be fine there, 25, and I'll draw the square. Okay, perfect. Right, I started my lines going across, and I said I'm going to start over here, so I can see from here, this um, I've got the four tens, a distance of 20 and 10, and I can see that 10 there makes up the left hand side of the male part of the figure. And I've got the four tens, 20 and 10, that makes up the right hand side of the male part of the figure. So there is kind of shoulders and the side of his body. I'll draw that in there. Okay, and I'll put in the, t the tens, so I need first two only need to go up to the top of that line, second two need to go all the way up to the top, to kind of 10 up here, something like that, sorry, I need to extend up that for a second, okay look I'll just put up all four, I'll just extend up on four altogether. Okay. All right. From there, I can make out look um, exactly how much of that I need. So uh, if I draw in the shoulders first, I can see look. It's in there. That's the far right hand side of the body. Uh, then it goes in as far as these kind of four tens start. What's the there? In here, so the other side goes in as far as them four tens starting, and then trying to have a vertical line here is that I actually need to go another bit of the way, it's fine. So I should have two lines coming down here that are 20 millimeters apart. And I can finish off that. That inside line has gone up to 10 below because I need to take this little line there. When that goes in, it should be 20 millimeters apart here in the middle. So I end up with this kind of shape, kind of like a, you know, like a um, kind of two G's maybe facing each other or something like that. So I should end up with that. The thing I'm left with then is the circle or the head. So I need to extend up the line that splits the whole thing down the middle. And I can do that there in a while. I do it with the other one. Okay. So so far so good with this one. Um, I'll just move on to the woman's body now. So. I've got the the four tens in here as well. Do you know what? I'm going to do the same thing with them. I'm going to bring them up like that. I won't need all of them, but I figure what I need after. So I'll bring them all up. Three, four, and the fifth line there. Like that. Perfect. All right. And then I'll extend. These are 35 and 35. I'll extend up them up to the base there. The base there, I don't know what I mean for that. 
Okay. Right, and I needed the middle line to draw the circle, so I'll extend it up as well. Okay, so I should end up with something like that. Okay, I'll fit in what I need, so what I have so far. So I have these uh, kind of outside ones. All right. There, okay. No. After that, what I'm left with is an angle here of 75 degrees. Okay, so I have the vertex of the angle, which is going to be these corners here. So I'm going to need a line going up at 75 degrees there like that. Now I have two options. One option is just using my protractor, putting it down, make sure the cross here is around the vertex, and one of the um, and the zero is on one of the arms of the angle I'm looking for. So I get 75 after that. The other option is, of course, uh, if we remember, you can combine your set squares. So I need an angle of 75 from there. I have 30 with this one. And I had 45 to it. So now I have 30 and 45. So now I have 75 degree angle. So I can just use my set square there like that. Make sure that there's, make sure he's sitting on top of the T square. Make sure that 45 degree is took, um, is in contact all the way over there. And I extend up my line there like that. Outside. Like that. I do the same from the other side. So I need a 75 degree angle going that way. So I need 30 plus 45. Do the same one up here. So there's my angle up that angle. So there's my 275 degree angles. Now um, I'm going to need uh, a line at distance of, each, of 10 away here. So I'm going to need a parallel line distance of 10 away. Now we know if we draw a parallel line 10 away, the distance of 10 has to be perpendicular away from the other line. So if I'm drawing two parallel lines, the distance of 10, or whatever the distance is, has to be perpendicular away. So to get it perpendicular away, I need to draw a perpendicular line. To do that, sit down my set square. I'll make sure that I've got the 90 degree angle ready to go. Make sure my sliding set squares are set up. If that's parallel to the line, well that's going in 90 degrees line. So I slide it down to meet it. I'll draw the line anywhere around it, and I'll mark off a distance of 10. Now that gives me a point that's perpendicular distance of 10 away, and I'll mark that off. need to see that, guys, otherwise it's not done. Same here. I'll set up my line, make sure my 90 degree angle is ready to go. Set up my sliding set squares. If this is parallel to it, that's 90 degrees away. Slide it down, draw a 90 degree line anywhere around it. And mark off a distance of 10. There we go there. Okay, that's 10 away. Now, I've got that done. Now I'm ready to go to draw a parallel line 10 away because I have a point and I have the line that's parallel to. So I just set up my set square with my H pencil this time. No, that edge is parallel to it. Make sure it lines up exactly and then I'll slide my set square over until it's in line with that point, now I've got a line that's 10 away. And this is going to be on the inside, so it's not going to go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. It's going to hit these two tens here. Like that. Good. Same with this one on this side. Set it up parallel. Side my set square over. Draw it parallel through that point, 10 millimeters away. And now I've got a line going parallel that's 10 millimeters away. Perfect. Now, I'm ready to finish it off. So, I'll extend that H line up to meet this. This one will to meet that. So, that finishes off that. And then, this is the same as here. I've got a gap of 20 in the middle. So, I just extend where it hit the line over to it. Extend where that hit the bottom line here over to the 20 millimeter gap. To the same at the top, wherever this line intersected with. The line going across, bring that over, and I do the same here, bring that over. And I end up with my 
20 millimeter gap in there. There and there. Perfect. Okay. And now all I have to do is draw my two circles of radius 20. So, set up my compass. And I can measure 20 if I want to. I can measure 20 if I want to, but I actually have the gap of 20 here, and I have the center of the circle here and here. So I just put it in the center and extend out my pencil to get my head pencil until it gets to the 20 millimeters away. And I'll draw that circle like that. And draw that circle. Ah, stop. Right. Disadvantage of boy robbers. Right, so uh, train. Mm. Right, so you should end up with your your uh, objects there like that. Um, so you should be able to clearly see the uh, the H and two H pencils. So I'm looking for for your marks. I'm looking for uh, working lines. And construction lines. And then I'm looking for um, these lines marking perpendicular. Distance. So you can't just mark out 10, it has to be perpendicular, That's we've been through this, alright, um, as well as that, uh, that's what you're looking for there, and then just to finish off guys, I want you to draw, so come up uh, from the bottom, I want you to come up, you know, I want you to come up 40 from the bottom, okay, up 40 from the bottom and draw two edges on the cross like that. And I want you to come in 30 again and then come in uh, come in 65. Okay. So you're coming in 30 and 65, up 40 and 30 and 65, and I want you to draw a line like that. Yeah, like that, so that's one line, and then over on this side, I want you to come in. What's the distance up here? And then it said this keywords line, you should have a distance of about 75. So I want you to come up maybe 60, like that, come up a distance of 60, and draw that in here, like that. And I want you to come in uh, 30 again from the edge of the margin, come in a distance of 30, I can come in a distance of 30, and then I want you to come in a distance of 120, like that. So you have two lines here, the measurements I give you. So this is to get the last part of the marks. So you have two lines down here in the bottom after doing that. I want you, for that line, I want you to bisect that. So I should be able to see all the markings on it. I want you to bisect that line. And this line, I want you to divide it into equal parts. And the parts I want you to divide into is seven. I want you to divide that line into seven parts. So you've got a line there that's 65 long, and you've got a line there that's 120 long. This should be bisected. That should be divided into seven equal parts. Okay? So complete that. Uh, uh, sh yeah, everything is there. Um, I think I've gone over all. So there's all the marks that you want to get for it, and complete the two of them. So do everything I've done on this page, everything here, and I want you to complete bisect and divide that into seven 